are here at uh, a place called Community Aid. It's basically a really big drift, uh, not drift store, thrift store. And we've done a vlog on here before, but uh, I have off since I'm not working right now. And it's a Monday and you get, they have a hero day on Monday, which is um, firefighters, police, EMTs, and military, things like that. And then included in that is also teachers. And so all I have to do is show my little ID card and we get 50% off of everything that we get. So we're here on a misty, rainy Monday morning and the store is pretty empty because they just opened. And so we're gonna get some. And I miss doing it. And Judah's doing that. So uh, that's what we're doing. I found a few good things so far, but this one snakeskin shorts. Look at that. Snakeskin shorts with a drawstring. Not bad. And how much do you think they are? I would only have to pay four dollars for those things. Four dollars. They're not really my style. But pretty nice. Okay, you know when you see a shirt and you go, you think of that person? Think about this person. You know exactly somebody just came to mind, you would go, I know who would love that shirt. Right? Maybe it's you. Just trying on a pair of shorts, making sure they fit before I wear them, or buy, before I buy them. Don't want to take them home and uh, get the wrong size. So what do you guys think? Looking pretty good, right? Maybe I just need a belt. Get him. Get him. Get him. Uh-oh, there he is. So we've been here for maybe half hour, 45 minutes, and uh... I have not been looking for me for a half hour and 45 minutes. I'm just gonna make that clear right now because I know where this is going. I got, I was done looking and shopping and getting There's everything. we look at first. In about, probably five minutes. I know, I know. And uh, it's just the difference between men and women shopping. First of all. And that'll be it for the... <laughs> I'm just saying, men, men can shop for everything they need and want in about five minutes, five to ten minutes. Women just have a better sense of taste and style and... There's a lot more to think about when you're buying for women than you are for men. Good save. <laughs> All right, so we were getting ready to leave and Kia wanted to look at some last minute things and I kind of ready to go and uh, so I went to go find her and I'm so thankful, so thankful that she found uh, what she did. So this is an amazing thing. It is a tool chest on wheels. It's a pretty nice one. Now, she looked it up and found them to be over a hundred bucks. The cheapest one I found was like 115 and then the next one I found up was like 177 So that's a, that's a lot of money. Yeah, and uh, I have a lot of tools. I just kind of pick them up at yard sales and this and that and they're all over the place because I'm not very good at putting them back where they should belong because I don't have something like this to put them in. So Kia found this and look how much it is. Are you kidding me? $13. $13. $13. So we are getting it. This is a heck of a deal. Very excited about that. All right, I'm just hanging out with my buddy John. He used to Hello. be one of my youth group leaders, and uh, we have grown together spiritually. And uh, we're just hanging out on this rainy day and chilling, just spitting the word a little bit. Uh, what are some of your nicknames? Oh, man. Uh, Jay Breezy. Jay Breezy. Uh, honeycomb. Honeycomb, that's how I know him best. Yeah. Uh, I used to also call him Johnny Be Good. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. And then it's J Rock over here. Yeah, J Rock. Or DJ Rupp. Or DJ Rock. I'll go by either of those. Or Eruption as a. Eruption, that's a good I, one. Yeah. I also go by Sir Rupp. 
<laughs> Sir Rup, I'll give you a second to think about that one. That's a good one. Um, you got anything you want to tell the, the the handful of people who watch our videos? Uh, I don't have much to say. I'm just enjoying it here. It's cool. You got a little, a little one in the back. She might have something to say. Yeah. Enjoying it, though. All right. Peace out. This is Judah and Lola. Rubbing their heads on the carpet. And why are we doing this? Because we are snuffers! Oh. Well, we found something else to do. And Judah is still rubbing his head on this, on the carpet. There's a pole out here, and Jeremy decided he's gonna try to jump it, even though people are going in. <laughs> Don't forget your son. Oh, Judah wants to try it. He wanted to keep going. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now he's going to attempt to go over all of them. <laughs> He's embarrassed of people. <laughs> Nailed it. That was awesome. Nailed it. Good job. <laughs> I like that. It's an adrenaline rush. <laughs> Great job. I have I have another challenge. Oh, he's doing something else. I just can't let What are you doing? One-handed or Okay. He's doing a one-handed pop. Oh, what is that? Four of I think. Oh, okay, he's starting in this way. <laughs> that was a little close for comfort. Okay. I'm not doing that one again. Okay. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I was looking for cameras. Let's get out of here. It says video recording in process. I know. So if you see this on YouTube, <laughs> other than our video. Other than our channel. Make sure you let us know. <laughs> I thought I would enjoy a nice afternoon treat with a pudding cup with some whipped cream. A little on top. And, uh... I was all done with it, so I thought, and put it aside. And here's the thing about living with kids, is that, ugh, nothing is safe. And so Lola thought she would finish the rest of it, right? Yeah, did you like it? Was it good? Yeah. Would, do you like pudding? Yeah. Are you messy? Yeah. We gotta take you back, Lola. Yeah. That's pretty much it for today. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and click that little bell for notifications when we post new videos. Tune in tomorrow and we will be doing our very first Throwback Thursday where Kia and I will be sharing a story uh, relating to our marriage and probably infertility and how all that connects. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys tomorrow.